Hello, good afternoon everyone and welcome to this week's pro tip. Um, I ventured out on this lovely sunny day to the third hole where I'm going to look to, to hopefully play this hole and um, point out some things you may not have thought about uh, the last time you played it. Uh, so down the line when you do come to this hole you can start to think about those these trouble areas. I have done a video regarding this and how we can start to map our approach shots into greens to really start to identify where the problem areas are. Um, the main reasoning behind that is if we can start to venture towards the, the safe areas of the green, we've got a much better chance of uh, reducing our chances of <clears throat> maybe making a bogey or, or worse than that. So um, I'm sure you all know what the third hole here looks like at Glen here, but just to show you, um, it's a lovely sunny day. I've just used the range finder. We're, we're about 160 yards to the flag today and there's a bit of wind off the right hand side. Um, but just to show you what how I would saw this hole when I look down and see where the trouble areas are. I've put a little diagram here. Excuse my drawing, it's not the best, but I've got the, the green positioned in the center. I've got my flag um, and I've got my bunker, which is the front left. I've got the out of bounds mark right at the back. I've got the bank on the right hand side. And then there's this little drop off on the left hand side as well. So I've numbered one being the, the best place to miss this would be probably short, just short of the green. Two being, I can, I got a good chance to get up and down from there, obviously with the slope. Three, it's not a bad place to be. It's a bit of a lengthy chip, but it's not an awful place to be. And then four and five, if I'm on this side of the uh, of the green, I have got a bit more of a difficult shot there to, to get up and down. So remember, zones one, all the way around to five, one being the best place. Look for where the one, two and threes are and take note of where the four and fives are. And that goes for every single... Uh, approach shot you might play at this golf course or anywhere else for that matter. So I'm going to give it a go. I've just measured it. We've got wind off the right hand side. Um, I'm going to look for that safe numbers which are on the right hand side of the green. Okay. Okay, looking not too bad. Right, perfect. So we're just on the right hand side of the flag which is where like I spoke about where the safe areas are so from there I've got a good chance to get down there I've got a chance for that birdie putt um, if not I should be in a good position to make my par and I haven't put myself in a position which is going to damage my scorecard um, and risk damaging my score at the end anyway um, I hope that a bit of advice helps uh, I know we've discussed it before but it's great to put that into the perspective on the golf course and I hopefully look forward to seeing you in more sun next week where we can venture out to another hole and do something similar to that. Thanks, all the best and bye for now.